uh, putting people first uh, to me, uh, it means valuing people, like it means to value and respect uh, people regardless of the uh, financial status, religion, or race. Like just showing humanity to people, like it means a lot to me. So when we talk about uh, human rights, it's also important to put uh, human rights face. So uh, put people face, it means to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, to respect people and to put uh, human uh, rights uh, first and also participate in projects that contribute uh, to having a better and uh, healthier future. So as a pharmacist, I'm a, like, uh, like I said, I'm a digital health promoter and also I'm a philanthropist. So I use my platforms just to at least I, 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 I protect people from uh, any uh, global health issues and also just participate in creating a healthier and a better future. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's, it's really a challenge when you look at uh, the, the antivirals, the ARVs, uh, even the people with TB, like so anti antimicrobial resistance is just uh, globally and it's uh, us people in Africa, we are the most affected. So it affects everyone, but uh, this antimicrobial resistance when it comes to African countries, um, uh, like it, it affects uh, more people than any other countries because when it comes to Africa, most of the health facilities they don't have the capacity to uh, conduct tests, the culture sensitivity tests and the like. If you go to most of the rural areas, for example, a person with HIV or a TB, they won't even have the uh, privilege. They won't have the privilege maybe to test for viral load and other uh, parameters that can at least uh, make prescribers uh, uh, choose an appropriate regimen for the patient. So it's really a challenge. So when it comes to testing, so when it comes to uh, TB medications and uh, ARVs, they are readily available, but the only challenge on the resistance part is because uh, they are, I can just say there are, there's no uh, testing, it's not uh, a priority, especially to rural areas. Uh, I, I think only bigger hospitals like in Lusaka, the capital city and other, other bigger places, they are the only people with uh, the capacity to conduct this. So it's even difficult for rural areas, for example, to even uh, determine uh, antimicrobial resistance. As a pharmacist, like uh, from the settings I've worked, I've worked in hospital pharmacy, retail pharmacies, like I've witnessed how these antimicrobials are used uh, irrationally and the dangers. So someone who, uh, uh, as a person, a pharmacist, who knows the dangers of antimicrobial resistance, like it's a threat, uh, to the future. So what drives me is like uh, just contributing to having a better and healthier future. Like you saw the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, the way it affected uh, almost everyone, regardless of the sector, regardless of what you do. But when it comes to antimicrobial resistance, so imagine where there's no, there are no vaccines, uh, you can't put up certain preventive measures like the way we used to do in COVID-19, things like putting up face masks, uh, washing your hands, for this time, when, uh, for antimicrobial resistance, it will be like uh, we have run out of options. Like these antimicrobials can't work. What should we do? So we opt to use uh, antimicrobials that are expensive. And like I said, it's even more dangerous to African countries. It's more dangerous to African countries because they don't have already, they have uh, uh, inadequate um, access to medications. Then when uh, antimicrobial resistance affects uh, people in the future, it will even be dangerous. There will be high mortality. Uh, uh, it, it, it will cripple the, the economy, which is already uh, not good for most African countries. So the, my, 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 my driving force to antimicrobial resistance is just, uh, it, it's just natural. Like I'm just someone who is passionate about healthcare. So it's not only antimicrobial resistance. I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about almost everything. It's, HIV, TB, but I, for now, I feel like antimicrobial resistance, people are just using drugs irrationally, and antimicrobial, uh, antimicrobials are the most abused drugs globally. So I just feel the need to put this as a priority for now.